he mihi nui, he mihi aroha. Tēnā koutou katoa. I'm Anne Thorpe and welcome to Kai Ora. I'm at my beach home today and I've got the bros coming and I'm cooking them a wicked feed. Mai te reo i rirangi, paua ka hoki ko Dale Husband, me rui a Perehama, nga manuhiri a Kai Ora mo tēnei rā. Anne knows how to pick them. Beautiful. Now let's check out the pātaka. Now today I'm cooking swordfish, steaming some oysters, got crayfish here, tea tea, and I'm marrying them up with watercress, kamukamu, kumura, and Māori potatoes. One day I heard this beautiful song called Katangi Te Titi, and it's sung by Ruia. I thought for my first dish how appropriate it would be to have titi. It's from Stewart Island. I'll show you what I do, I'll just bring my pot over and chuck in my tea tea and the bay leaves and put it on the stove to boil. And then once it's boiled, simmer it for about two to three hours on a blip blip carry on. Now that I've got that tea tea on, I've got a bit of time up my sleeve, so I'm gonna hit the water. See you in a moment. Let's get on to the TT again. Here we go. It's gorgeous things. Drain that off. Pull that out here. If you have a good look here, you can see how thick and oily this stock is. And what I'm going to do is tip out probably about that much, so it's about three quarters of it out of there. And then I'm going to fill it up with some boiled water here. That's just boiled. So I've got a weaker stock and I'm going to throw in my watercress and my kumara into the stock and cook them like this. And then put my watercress in. Now tell you what, the bros are gonna love this. It's all our Maori food. I'm cooking today. And these fellas have come up here to eat my kai, and I know they'll be wanting a jolly good feed. So onto the element, bring it back to the boil. Once it's come to the boil, turn it down to a simmer and simmer it until the kumara is cooked. Back to the tea tea here. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put it on my oven tray and I'm going to grill that top and we're going to crisp up that skin. Also, by grilling the skin like this, it gets rid of even more oil. Look at these birds. They're beautiful and crisp. I just want to show you how much oil has actually come out. I'll tip it into here and show you. Look, that's more oil since I put it in the oven and roasted it off. See how fatty these birds are? Doesn't matter though, we know how to get rid of that fat. And we're right into the flavour of it. Kua neke atu e te kotahi haura te kumara nei e tāwana I'm going to pull it out of my pot here, put that on the plate. You know what this smells like, don't you? Every Māori knows what I'm smelling right now. Cooked in that tea tea stock, something else. Now I've cooked the kumara in its jacket. I like cooking the kumara in the jacket in the oven or in the pot. It keeps all the goodness inside it. And those birds should be cool now. Bring them back into play. And I'm just going to sit these gorgeous titi on top of that watakrihi and kumara. I know you titi lovers out there are going to think, oh, I've got to get some of that. If you haven't tried this yet, get into it because it is fantastic. He 
tio anō hei timata atu e te tina o tēnei rā. Everybody I know loves oysters. My favourite kai, besides kina, by a country mile. I'm going to cook these oysters by steaming them today for the bros, healthy as. I'm going to get my steamer tray, bring it over here, and because I've got quite a bit of dill in my fridge, I'm going to put a bed of dill on the bottom. It's just going to give a subtle flavouring to the oyster, and that's what we want. There are many ways to skin a cat, so there's lots of ways to cook oysters as well. And this is another one. So down the set, and then lay your oysters on top. Also, this method is quite good to lay the oysters on without them sliding off all over the show. So I'll quickly do this. It's only going to take a couple of minutes because I hear the bros pulling up. I love feeding my manuhiri oysters when they arrive, so when you see me, or see the programme all the time, you see gee, she does a lot of oysters. I love giving oysters to people when they come. So I'm going to add a little bit of ginger to my oysters. I can never get past the chilli, so we'll have a bit of that. Put some spring onions on the top too. I want to demonstrate to you that you can do anything you like, actually, when you're in the kitchen. But whenever I'm preparing something, I always think healthy. I always consider my manuhiri who are coming. I always think, what would they love me to cook for them? You know what? No one has ever turned me down when I've asked them over for a kai. And chop up a bit of this dill and sprinkle it over the top too. Put a bit of lime juice over the top, just like this, just a little, and then I'm going to pop it into my steamer. They're only going to take a couple of minutes. Now make sure you don't overcook these. It's a fine line. Turn the steam off here. These oysters are ready. I've got a little bit of that fresh dill left over. Put it on my plate. Starts pulling these out now. I'm going to throw a bit of flaxseed oil over it, and you know why? It's one of the healthiest oils around. So there we go, as simple as that. The boys are here now, got that flaxseed on top of that. Healthy way to start our lunch today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anne. Thank you oh. very much, Dale. <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, let's see this for you. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Love the tank from the chilies, Anne. Oysters and chilies. Mmm. Oh, that's a juicy one. 
Beautiful start. I'm probably using the wrong, the wrong fork, though. Lack a bit of sophistication in the kai department, though, sometimes myself, um, Anne. Well, it won't be long before we get into it with our mitts anyway. <laughs> you like organic cooking. Eh? Well, and you know, I know what I like. Organic eating. So, the famous Parkity Beach. Yeah. And oysters with Louis and Anne. Well, what a combination. Doesn't get much better than that. With a touch of Dale on top. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful. What you a way to start. the last one. Mm. <laughs> I, that's just the starters, but yeah, just the starter, just to whet your appetite. Just beautiful. Oh, thank you, Mihi Nuki Aku Ann. That's a nice start. Kia ora, Ruia. Kia ora. Quite like to. Uh, I'd quite like to bring this view back to Hodaki, but I suppose Ngati Wai would like to keep it for themselves too. Uh, somehow I think so, that, that yeah, Ngati Wai would. Who'd want to not give it up? You'd go for horse tracks along there as well. Okay, where's the horses? <laughs> Ooh, oh, man. Titiro, bro. Familiar kite for our uh, people. It's amazing how each area has got sort of famous for particular things, isn't it? And uh, you can't help it. Driving through Lua Wai and up towards Dargaville and that, and they're so proud of their kumara up those ways. Mm. You know? mm. And of course, the, uh, the mutton birds. Amazing story of, of flight and survival. And we're very lucky that um, over the years our Māori people have protected their rights to, to harvest TT. Yeah. Mm. Mm. In South Island, they put them in these um, big seaweed containers, they make them out of seaweed. But the, of recent times has been the the white plastic container. Hmm. But yeah, I've seen it in a big, huge um, seaweed kelp. That's the word I was looking for, kelp. They call it poha. And they cook it and they put it in the they put it in the kelp pouch. Then they sew it up and that's how they preserve it. Beautiful. I was determined to cook this titi for you. Thank you, lovely. An appreciation for that lovely song I heard with my back to the telly. Who's that? And that was your name. Oh my God. See, thank goodness you didn't hear Tommy Kangaroo Down Sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd be eating something completely different right now, wouldn't we? <laughs> but, you know, it, it is important that, um, that we eat smarter, I, I guess, and you know, that's going to take time um, to learn. Hey, Rui, we will have to do that. And, um, you both look like you eat well, eat properly. We'll eat lots. Eat lots. <laughs> eat lots, we can have all that, yes. <laughs> the old people reckon the titi is a tino town. Mm. That and rotten corn. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a huge piece of swordfish here. So here we go, the sirloin of the sea. So with a sharp knife, just cut us three pieces. Now these taties have been in there for about six or seven minutes now, 200 degrees remember. So they're half cooked. Just going to shift them over here, like that, and I'll put my slabs of swordfish on here, like this. Now because mine is thinner, I'm going to keep a good keen eye on it. Put a little bit more oil over the top like this. I haven't oiled the bottom because the tray is already oiled with the, with the potatoes. I'm going to put a bit of thyme over it, a bit more rosemary. I'm going to make a salsa up so I'll also be putting these herbs into that. And you know, at this point, I'm going to 
put these kamo kamo in there, whole like this. I'm not going to do anything to them. I'm going to roast them, and they should be ready the same time as these swordfish are. I'm going to turn that oven down to 180 degrees. Remember, it's on 200 degrees Celsius. Just put a little bit of seasoning, salt. and pepper over that glorious fish and whack it in the oven. Into the oven. Remember, I'm turning it down to 180 degrees. Now, to go with my dish, I'm going to make up a little sauce or a little dressing to go over it with a teaspoon of manuka honey. This is New Zealand manuka honey. Pouring a little bit of this cab Sav vinegar into my bowl. That's probably about a couple of dessert spoons full. Mix it in. It's pretty much dissolved into each other. Put a couple of garlic cloves in there. Mix that up. I'm throwing some salted capers. That'll go beautiful with that swordfish. Salt and pepper. I'm going to pull off this flat leaf parsley. Put it into my mixture. Just pull, pull the leaves off like that. I'm getting rustic now. The rest of this thyme here, pull it off. Mix it around. A few more rosemary sprigs here. And I might just pour a little bit of shardy in it. That was probably about a half a cup. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is ready to go. Let's go and plate it up. Pull this one out here. Gorgeous big one for do you? And that gorgeous big one for Dale. I'll worry about mine shortly. Just plate these up for the minute. That is on there. I think the tongs will be better here. Plate them up. Leave a few for myself. Just pop this over there, get this kummel kummel off. I'm just gonna cut into it to rings. This is beautifully cooked. And with my salsa, I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over my dish like this. And there we go. How about this? Swordfish haku. 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 Yeah, we're not the cup of Maori. Haku. And now they're man, wow, that just looks fabulous. Yeah, yeah, you know how to turn it on, Anne. <laughs> hey? I do a lot of cooking with herbs. I love herbs. Well, so far, what have we had? We've had the tea tea. We've had the tea tea, the kumara, the watercress, the Maori potato, the kamo mm -hmm. We've had the ika. And the teo. And the teo. Was... Yeah. Or Maori kai. Mm. Yep. It's all gettable. Oh, yep. Oh, gettable. <laughs> gettable and edible. <laughs> Didn't they write a song about kamo kamo? Kamo kamo. Kamo 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 chameleon. <laughs> you come and go. Some laughing there. Kamo 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 k
you know what, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Just going to go back and check out my next um, dish. And um, I'm going to drag you over to the window to see me finish it off. Mm. Sounds good. Okay, Sounds good. but you carry on. And, um, Shoulder and. Cord it, ord it, ord it all. Hi. And um, I'll be back. Okay, thanks, Sam. It's pretty cool, though. For most people, the most provocative food in the whole wide world is coda or crayfish. My mate Sam's been out diving and he's come up trumps with these two gorgeous coda here and I'm cooking them for dessert. Who says you have to have a pudding for dessert? So I'm just going to get on with them simply. They've gone on eyes in my freezer. He te kaumāri ma miniti noa kua māua rāua ki roto i te umu tahiro fititikau te wera. Kaue waiho kia wera. Bros, come and check our dessert out. Alright. Ewa, what did you have to do? Well, you know, we don't have to have a sweet for a dessert. Mm. And I thought you'd appreciate a coda instead. I'm oh. going to do it with a little paw paw. Yeah, all good, all good. So I'm just going to cut it. It's just come out. I've been out of the oven now for about 10 minutes so I can handle it. Mm -hmm. I like roasting it whole like this because it keeps in all the paru. You know what? It's perfect. Ooh, wow. wow. I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'm in heaven. You've just shown me how to um, spice up my Māori food a bit more. Oh, choice. Thank you, do you? And being a bit more creative with it and not being frightened to be creative. Look at that. We're going to have crayfish and paw paw. Well, uki ki te tepu. And I will come out with this immediately. Yeah, kia ora, thank you, Ed. Oh, oh. Mate. <laughs> Oh, mate. It's unbelievable. My cooking's all about flavour, as you know. Mm. And about doing us a favour by inviting us here oh. to eat. Thank you for to accepting. To eat your culinary masterpiece. Hetohuka, heatua, hetipua. I'm just complimenting you again. I'm putting you up there with the cards <laughs> there, my sister. Oh. We must be ready for a white day, Well, yep, you are. I'm, re I'm ready to tow talk. Let's Come do it. On, bro. Come on, yes. mate. Let's have some fun. Let's, let's don't ever travel without a ukulele. Don't ever travel without a ukulele. Matika maira e te iwi Māori I nā te mahi e mahi nei tātou Matika maira e te iwi Māori I nā te mahi Ka maranga a ke ahau Dubu 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 Titi rua tu ki te moana Ka maranga a ke ahau Dubu 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 Titi rua tu ki te moana Yeah, bro. Lere ana i te rangi Ko ngā hihi o te rā Lere ana i te rangi O te ihi Me te wehi, me te wana, o te waka Awe, awe, na, 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 na You know, I've had such fun today. I really, really have. So, kia ora from Kai Ora, and see you next time. Na, 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 na I know, bro. Na, 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 na Thank you, eh? Kāmuhuri, <laughs> 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 <